So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after that speaks about Banu Israel. Banu Israel, the children of Ya'qub alayhi salatu was salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of them. Why? Because they were given so many gifts from Allah, but they were, a lot of them were ungrateful. And Allah speaks about what the outcome was after their ungratefulness. And Allah mentions that because he doesn't want us to be like that. You know, Allah speaks about when Musa alayhi salatu was salam told them to slaughter a cow. They should have just listened and they, they know the Nabi was there and the Nabi told them slaughter the cow. What would happen if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam stood in front of us today and said everyone stop eating interests. What would we do? Would we be like Banu Israel arguing with that Nabi Musa alayhi salatu wasallam? No, it can't be haram. There must be something wrong with it. Man. It can't. Today it's something else. It's, it's unavoidable. We can't do that. That is what Banu Israel did and they were cursed as a result. They told Musa alayhi salam, what type of a cow? Come on, there's lots and lots of cows and so on. And they went on and on and the story is there in Surah Al-Baqarah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for that reason, their hearts became hard because they argued with those who came with the correct information to them, with the commands of their creator to them. Let us all ask ourselves, do we debate and argue with those who come to us with the truth, with the haqq? If we debate and argue with those who come to us with haqq, then surely wouldn't we then fall into the bracket of those who debated with the Anbiya alayhimu salatu wasalam? So let's not do that. If we are weak, we can say, look, I'm weak. I'm, I'm not yet capable or I don't yet have the strength, but I know I'm wrong. Admit it, but don't argue and don't justify evil that I am engaged in or you are engaged in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard all of us.